do that. Certainly we are not one of them. It's important. Here's the option play run to perfection starting off that other people have trouble getting ready for, even though they had an extra week. In the first play, we run 30 yards with Quinn Grovey. And good blocking. You see the four guys downfield blocking for him too, Jerry. After these first two plays, it looked like Arkansas able to do just about what you wanted to do. Good throw by Quinn, and look at the great, great catch by Cedric Fillmore. Too easily, you know, we had two plays. We're going into the win right now. They elect to kick off with in the win, and uh, with the win, and, and here we got three plays, and we see where we are. I mean, we're down right where we want to be, and and uh, we move the ball down well. And of course, we have a breakdown right here. And that's the bad part about it, that we don't get points. We miss a field goal, so we're fluttering just enough. And it looked like, well, we could do it any time we wanted to, but we come up with no points. SMU sets up now its first possession on its own 20. Not bad-looking uh, formation either. You know, nobody in the backfield. They say, where are the rest of those guys? But this quarterback, Mike Romo, has broken all the passing statistics and uh, everything in SMU history as a redshirt freshman. And they go down and score. Watch this. Big old fullback is a hoss now. He is really, we just don't get him on the ground. And hey, when you miss a tackle and things like that, everybody else. So they give us a 10-play, 80-yard drive to take the lead, but here come the Razorbacks right back right down back. the field. Here's James Rouse taking off, and James has another great over 100-yard game, 115 yards. So we move right down, trailing 7 to nothing, and with a great drive right when you got to have it, and there's Quinn going in for the score. And uh, we're going to get the extra point and tie the ball game seven to six. Long time. You bet you, Jerry. They're going to really do good. It's seven to up front in the running game. And we didn't do as well in our protection overall. But, I mean, he hit six out of six, which is going good. Here's a great throw and a great catch. And hanging on the ball is Derek Russell. I mean, he's, he's close to being uh, past the line of scrimmage. But Quinn just uh, zipped it down there before. Here's another bootleg and get a chance to get on the ball. Watch him hit Billy Winston coming across. The big tight end. Look at Billy accelerate. The young man from Mariana, Arkansas, did a heck of a job. Darren Worrell and, and Peanut Holden. And we get a shot of Todd Wright kicking a field goal. Big job. We get several. Uh, Kenny Ewan knocks two or three of them down like that. Here's a little quick screen and look at the coverage. Ken Benson once yeah, again. Kind of spent a lot of time with his passing. Jack Crow and has done a good job and uh, everything getting Quinn ready for this time. And it's good to see this man back, Juju Harshaw. He hadn't played in, uh, gee whiz, seems like an eternity. Since the Houston game. Right, and he's come back here and had a good pass perception and that good run, and we're just glad to see Juju back. We'll need him for the bowl game. And then he runs the ball and comes right back and uses those great hands and look at him accelerate. Get! Everybody hey, thought he hey, made hey, it in. Hey, 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 what? That's not a touchdown, Jerry. Everybody Good thought he grace. made it in, but the referee. All right, he must have blinked. Caught him in that blink time right there. But we knew we wanted Juju to get in the end zone, and he does, because he, he already did, and he deserved it. That was a Juju drive right there behind great blocking. And he's giving 17 to 7 at this point. About four and a half minutes remaining now in the first half. Look here, we almost intercepted that one, too. That's one that that middle screen that hurt us so bad against Houston earlier. And we played a lot of those trick plays and a little bit, the little screens in there, a heck of a lot better. Here's a little running screen, and, and, a screen, and, and I tell you, three times in the second quarter. Got Jimmy Williams in now, giving him a chance to. Uh, giving him, and action. you see, we're throwing the ball a lot more right now and get a good catch. And look at the great effort. Lay to go, Lindy Lindsay. Former Bulldog uh, right here. I mean, he just did a tremendous job. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm really proud of Lindy and what he's meant. Great catch here by Derek. Once again, he's come down with two big ones. Jimmy is still in there. We're trying to do it. The young man has done a great job for us, being a backup quarterback from Houston all this time. And he draw, uh, rifles the ball in there. And here we have Lindy Lindsay catching it once again. And Lindy's done a good job for us. One more time, we call on Todd, Todd Wright to uh, kick the field goal. Well, it's the same spot. You notice that, Jerry? It's not a re uh, replay. That it actually was two different field goals. So anyway, we move down the field, but we get hung up. Now we just we're trying to get the ball back right here before half, if we can. And a great play here by Aaron Jackson. I'm so happy for Aaron. I just told him to play before. I said we don't need to bat one down. We've got to come up with the ball, Jerry. And I'm so proud of him coming up with that in the third quarter. And we did. And now, all of a sudden, we come, there's a chance, a combination of a run pass, and he just throws the ball into a crowd. And uh, what just, we're about to see is the only sack of Romo all day, but Chad Rowland really that? did the job. 
And if people remember last year that uh, Chad's on one of the, one of three that sacked the Walsh last year from Miami, and he just did a great effort. Cotton Bowl, all right. Someone ready to go. Razorback Bells, that, I mean, are a great group. Boy, they are beautiful. They are really helpful, and they just know the university, and they've really, really been a big uh, asset to us. Here's a big fullback once again, and you see how he just tears loose in there. Gee, me, Chris, he just drags us on, on right now, and we got to tackle down there lower, getting up too high, and get that big, strong guy there going. You're not going to knock him back. And again, they get in the end zone, and so... Now, all of a sudden, Coach, it's a 20-14 to 14 ball game. We've let them establish the momentum now. Going, they're kicking with the wind. We started deep on our end of the field once again, and we've got to come on, move the ball, read the triple option, Barry goes, and uh, we make another first down. Controlling the line of scrimmage on the running game, which is so important, which you always have to do, Jerry, and, and it helps us establish an option, which really sets up all of our pass and our play-action passes, too. Here's a critical catch, and Tim Horton, Conway, a senior, playing his last game here at War Memorial Stadium. Hard to believe, just yesterday, you know, we were trying to convince his mama that we'd take good care of him to bring him up here. Here's the reverse we tried earlier, had not worked, and uh, right now, Derek makes a good key first down. Got the ball on the 19-yard line, plenty good range, and we fought it. We make one bad mistake on one play, and that's what happens when we come through and we get a good field goal. The great thing about it, Jerry, is that Todd kicked three fields on the ball. To be honest with you, we're trying to go to the man instead of actually see the ball. And you've got to see the ball, and we just don't do a good job of it. And they uh, rifle in there, left-footed. Three points left-footed counts the same as three points right-footed, Jerry. So now it's, once again, 23-17. A touchdown separates the two teams. You bet. And they come up with a play of the game right here. I, I'll give them credit right now. They just do a better job of executing on us. You talked about this all week. We knew they, they might try it. something like they, they did a great job, and we just did not do as good a job preparing our team. That was my fault for doing that. But we had a guy, and they blocked the, the two men, really, that had a chance for it. And they just they get a perfectly executed play. This Wolf has done this all year on everybody. He, they work him against linebackers. They're ahead in the ball game right now, Jerry, 24-23. I think everybody kind of woke up a little bit right now, and that cool breeze kind of got everybody's attention, plus SMU playing, and we're behind. And we say, if we're going to do something, it better be now, just like it was in the fourth quarter on A&M. Barry Foster with a great run, and now it's time to hand off to James Rouse. Great run there to get us going. Now we're on the back on their side of the 50-yard line, and good running again by James. We get about 9, 10 yards. And uh, certainly, we, we got the wind with us now, but uh, we can't afford to turn the ball over. I mean, you got to execute, and when you can do this in the clutch, and here's Quinn Grovey coming up and making a great run. First down, getting us to the 27-yard line. Then the field goal spot, and it, it, they just said he was down. But we come right back again with a great run and a great, look at the great move. Two, three, you see that, Jan? Quinn Grovey, Grovey to be able to get the touchdown for the Razorbacks. Well, we're running an option here on the three-yard line. We, we need to go for it and make it. And, and they really got the play played pretty well. And Quinn just does a good job of squirting through. You can see there's a move. 99 kind of gets caught up in there, and Quinn uses his great speed to get by him. Uh, Cedric Fillmore getting a good block of a rationing. And uh, we score and go ahead in the game. Quinn got down low and got under well, there. Well, we're going to go for two right here. And this is just an individual effort by James. That, uh, that Their man had it. He had the play played. And that's one-on-one. -on -one. You A lot of offensive footballs try to put a, a, a great back or a great receiver one-on-one -on -one with a defender and let him win most of the time. Still got about five minutes to go in the game, so you've got to hold the Mustangs. Well, they can score and go for two and win the game. And certainly they would have done that, I think, at this time. So this is probably as you know, big a play as there was. Shannon Wright running them out of bounds on third and three. And they do punt the ball. A little surprising to me they give us the ball back, but they were hoping for a turnover, and uh, it just wasn't to be. We were going to hang on that ball and make us a first down or two and try to run that clock out. James Rouse over 100 yards on the day, a, a great way to wrap up his career in Little Rock. Tremendous way for, for him and all the seniors. We come back with a little old naked play again and watch Quinn and, and Timmy Horton. That's really something to behold. To make a, We wanted a first down there. Quinn had confidence to throw it in there, and he threw it on the money. And Tim came up with it, and we were just mighty proud. Right here, I thought Barry was going to score, and possibly. And, and, and so right now, we're just really running the clock out. All we want to do is don't turn the ball over and give them a, a play right at this point. We've been holding on to the ball well. And here, James, 
James just uses his speed just to outrun him right at this point. He turned it on at the last minute and uh, just done a tremendous job. So the Razorbacks wrap up the win with that, and uh, they run. And SMU tries to come back one more time, runs the clock out. You have the win. There's four screens.